a great big drum set, so what do we do with it? Um, a lot of, uh, a thing about a drum set like this that I've had people sit down at and say that they think it's, it's intimidating to sit behind, uh, I just think it's a big playground. And obviously you don't have to use the entire drum set on every single song, although there are several songs on this album where I did use the entire drum set over and over again. And uh, I just think it depends on your style and the song, what the song calls for. As a two-piece, there's just the two of us, so there's plenty of room to explore and screw around. Let's talk about cowbells. Um, I, have had, I have cowbells that I've had for many years. I've got this big black cowbell that I've had since 1991, and I've used it in exactly two songs since then. Uh, and songs that actually were, were very short-lived that didn't ever see the light of day on the recording in different bands I was in. And then I have my little tiny little LP cowbell that I bought in 1980. And I had never ever used it in a song. And Amy and I were playing the song House of Trouble. And we were playing, we went to the chorus and we were jamming along. And I was playing one day, playing the chorus, and something was missing. Because we went into the, the second half of the chorus. And Amy's got this, her cool disco funk, do, do, da, do, 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 you know, kind of working up the neck. And I thought, what that needs is a cowbell. It, you know, just kind of popping right through. That would be killer. So I stuck my cowbell up there, and then next time we played the tune, we came around, we uh, introduced a cowbell, and it, and it really helps to bring the part together. And that was actually a, a debate on a, a drum form recently. Do cowbells have a place in the song? And, and some people were like, never use a cowbell. Other people were like, always use a cowbell. And my attitude was like, use whatever you got that makes a song help propel the song and helps, you know, help the, the song groove. Because I think the cowbell, you stick that in there and all of a sudden you just, you know, you're feeling good. So House of Trouble was a song that Amy uh, was upset about something one day, was feeling a little bit of angst. So she, uh, so it started coming up with this and uh, it said, play something angry. And that's when we, we kicked off the... And then she started doing her do 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 you know, that, that cool bass line. And, uh, and I thought, well, I don't know what to play to that. And when I don't know what to play to something, if I try the hi-hat, try the ride cymbal, and I can't come up with something, my go-to thing is hit tom-toms. Ride around on your jungle tom-tom vibe for a minute until we come into the chorus. And so that's when I came up with the part. So uh, we have our introduction, and then we move right into our tom-tom thing. And I think that, that those work so well together. This is a case where busy, a busy drum bit is working really nicely with a busy bass bit together. I think they make a really cool, cool groove. <laughs> 